Hey guys, my name is SimC. Welcome back to some more FIFA 16 career mode. We're playing as Real Madrid. This is episode 14. Now guys, in today's episode, we have two matches. The first of which is the in the Copa de España. It is against Sevilla. Now we managed to win the first leg away 1-0. So we do have the away goal going into the semis. Later on in the episode, we have the squad report. We also have some more training as well for my players. And we have the match in the Champions League against FC Porto. Now, guys, if you didn't go and see the last episode, we managed to win, uh, draw sorry, 2-2 two, two against FC Porto away. So we have two matches at the Bernabeu. The Bernabeu? Santiago Bernabeu. <laughs> oh, God. But, um, yes, a must-win match. We currently drew 2-2. Two, two. We need, obviously, to win the match or draw, draw the match less than two. But to start things off, Neymar running down the wing trying to create something, holds on to possession somehow, whips it into Sergio Aguero, who rose to the occasion. Tony Cruz plays it out to Danilo, my right back being a little bit ambitious, but he had a lot of space, so I thought I might as well take the shot. Tony Cruz whips it into my two centre-backs, pushing, uh, pushing up the pitch, pushing up the pitch. <laughs> oh, God, which was uh, Rafael uh, Varane and Sergio Ramos. But once again, Cruz with the corner kick, it falls Back to uh, uh, James Rodriguez, who fires his shot. So we've had all the, the chances in the first half. Most of them were long shots, trying to test the goalkeeper and push a corner to capitalise. I think if you if you can't seem to break down the back line, uh, it's better off going for long shots so you can push a corner and maybe try to create something off that because I, I do find myself pretty good at set pieces and obviously playing it out when it spills out of the box and scoring some long shots there. David De Gea gets taken down from the Sevilla player, but luckily it didn't result in a goal. Now, Ronaldo, Ronaldo breaking away just before the 70th, and Bolo makes it 1-0. And once again, it's that man in Bolo. He's just been tearing it up at the Santiago Bernabeu and claims another goal to his immaculate goal-scoring tally. I can't believe I picked him up for so cheap. He's going up in stats. He's on par with Aguero this season. And uh, let me know in the comments if you guys haven't signed Bolo, uh, signed Bolo because signed in Bolo because you guys have been absolutely loving him. He's been absolutely fantastic in this career mode to see him in action and just thriving, absolutely thriving in his new environment, which is Spain and at Madrid, obviously. And we really did need him there to step up to the plate to hopefully seal the victory 2-2 on aggregate. Now, on the counter-attack here, we managed to get create nearly... Two very decent chances, obviously the first one resulting in a goal. But Mbolo on the ball finds uh, Gareth Bale. So Mbolo is instrumental in setting up the two goals, obviously scoring. And then finding Gareth Bale on his left foot on the counter-attack. And yeah, well, that's all it took, just a couple of counter-attacks. Having that triple threat substitution really does help. So 2-0 up, 3-0 up on aggregate. But Sevilla weren't down and out for the count. They were still trying to create something. They have Immobile, the former Torino, I do believe. That's who he played for in the Serie A. And obviously, uh, Borussia Dortmund. So they did manage to get a shot off there. David De Gea wasn't tested. But uh, Hesse Rodriguez on the ball, fresh off the bench with Mbolo. Trying to gain him his second. He cuts back and creates so much space for himself. He manages to make it 3 now. So... It took a little bit of a little bit of time before this match actually opened up. That triple threat substitution is absolutely key, and Hesse Rodriguez there I definitely can see him being the next Ronaldo. He feels so fantastic on the pitch, but once again on the counter attack, we only could get um, Sevilla on the counter attack when when they had a couple of good plays. But Mbolo with Oh, God. With the roulette and the cutback, makes it 4-0 and scores his second of the match, picking up an assist in the 90th minute. And if you told me at halftime that I'd go through and win this match 4-0 in the 90th minute, I think you'd be lying because I struggled in the first match. We had a lot of chances. We just couldn't seem to capitalize. But Mbolo is just that impact play. I can't praise him enough. If... You are doing a FIFA 16 career mode. Sign in Bolo up, regardless of who he plays for. I think he's a superb talent. Obviously, having the likes of Ronaldo and uh, 
A lot of players behind him, Gareth Bale, Neymar as well, does help him quite significantly, but he's relatively cheap. I picked him up for 14 million. Obviously, I'm Real Madrid. They wanted more from me because they knew I could pay it. <laughs> but I'm sure you can pick him up quite cheaply. He's roughly around right about 8 or 9 million. That's in dollars on FIFA 16. That's what, what I play, and that's what roughly his uh, wage when you start. So, it's usually dollars are about half in pounds, so probably about 5 million pounds. I'm not really too sure it is what in in euros, but uh, we do have some training sessions here today, and we're hopefully trying to level up or <laughs> get his overall up, not level up. Uh, Enzo Fernandez. If you don't know who Enzo Fernandez is, it is Zidane's son. So if we can, I definitely see him. Like I said, a part of the Madrid future. He is only 64 rated, and he's 20, 21 years of age, so he's a little bit old. But um, if you can get up in stats, I definitely can see him as a part of the Real Madrid future. Now, we do have a squad report here today. Marcelo, Varane, and Danilo have all gone up a plus two, along with Gareth Bale. Neymar has gone up a plus one as well. Sergio Aguero um, doing well. Ruben Navas gone up a plus three, and Bolo a plus one. Uh, Cherny, or Kearney, I think it, I, I read a couple of comments. People were saying it's Cherny because it was a goalkeeper. Um, a popular goalkeeper with the exact same spelling. So Cherny, I think Cherny r rolls off the throat than Kearney. Like I said, it does sound awfully Australian, but uh, I don't even know what that is. I, I, I find that so stupid that I have an Australian accent. I try to do like a real rule one. <laughs> like, just saying it. No, never mind. I'm getting sidetracked. Right. You're most welcome to pause at any point in time at the squad report if you want to have a look at your favorite players' in-depth stats. But we have a huge match here today. A must win at the Santiago Bernabeu. Uh, we definitely need to win if we want to progress into the champions or get past the round of 16. Obviously, we are Ver, uh, versing our former player Ika Casillas who obviously left uh, Real Madrid in uh, controversial matters but um, we currently draw a uh, drew 2-2 two, two away at Porto it's not much of a trek from uh, Portugal to Spain so hopefully both teams are raring to go to start things off Neymar trying to get back on the ball Plays it back to Hammers Rodriguez. Tony Cruz pushing up the pitch, pitch and manages to find Sergio Aguero. And he manages to get his finesse off. Pretty quiet in the match against Sevilla until I moved on in Bolo. Uh, that really livened up the match. But to start things off with a fantastic finesse from Sergio Aguero was superb outside the box. I think that was with his left foot as well. Quite surprised he got that over Casillas. But, um,. Really, really nice play. I hit it first time, uh, but Gareth Bale here playing through. Neymar fires one at Casillas. Top-notch save, but uh, you got to give it to Porter. They have a very, very strong to uh, side, and Barami on the ball, getting in a very, very dangerous situation, and he manages to play one past David De Gea. So we're currently drawing 1-1 in this match, and 3-3 three, three on aggregate. So... At the moment, we are technically winning if it goes to a 3-3 three, three draw because we have not, we've only conceded one away goal. That's how it's based. So, Barami there getting past Hammers, who pushed back. Rafael Varane couldn't get the tackle, and Sergio Ramos came screaming out to the post. Probably did more damage than, well, what he was worth. It did take a deflection somewhat and then hit David De Gea, I'm pretty sure. But FC Porto were determined not to let their Champions League final hopes die uh, at the Bernabeu. But Ronaldo, uh, Bale on the ball, sorry, not Ronaldo, plays it through to Mbolo, fresh off the bench. He gets his shot off, determined to impress in this match. But in the second half, we were all over FC Porto, not so much in the first. But uh, uh, Ronaldo on the ball, once again, trying to create some space, passes it back to Tony Cruz. The German hits the post, very, very unluckily denied. Now Isco plays through Tony Cruz again. He hits the crossbar, but at this point in time, we are still winning, and it was just a nightmare trying to put one in the back of the net. Ronaldo getting in a very dangerous position. It falls short to Isco, but it's offside by the slightest of margins. And Ronaldo being denied there. But in Bolo on the ball. 
plays through Tony Cruz, and Tony Cruz was determined to push up on the pitch, but we managed to draw 1-1 against FC Porto, and we struggled. We really did. We managed to draw 3-3 on aggreg- aggregate, but Seenings, they... Uh, FC Porto conceded more away goals. We managed to progress from the round of 16. But guys, I'm going to end it here. Thank you very much for watching if you've watched all the way through. I really do appreciate it. Stay tuned for the quarterfinals of the Champions League. Let me know in the comments where do you think I'll finish. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. All links in the description below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers, mates.